All right, guys, welcome back. It's your boy, Sanj, and uh, today's another episode of post-workout slash pre-workout rant slash training progress update video thing. So if you want to hear me talk about back day, stay tuned. All right, so quick pre-workout video here. Uh, we got week two, day two, which is a pull day, back day, whatever you want to call it. Uh, reverse grip pull downs, dumbbell deadlifts, which are my favorite right now. Uh, narrow seated rows, probably just parallel. Uh, chest supported face pulls, we're going to try that out. And um, hammer dumbbell curls and standing dumbbell curls. So I think the hammers we're going to do seated. Um, and then besides that, we got some abs and some cardio at the end, and uh, that's it. So I'll see you guys post-workout. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Post-workout rant. Not so much a rant, just going to tell you guys how the program's going, how my training is going in my off-season. So if you guys missed the first part, but I know you didn't, uh, it is push day, week two, day two. Push day. Uh... It was a great workout. Um, I still don't like the reverse grip pull downs. It, uh, it, it's very sensitive on my shoulder, so it's not technically my favorite movement at all right now. Uh, dumbbell deadlifts, we did fantastic for today. Got up, back up to uh, 85 pound dumbbells, did it for eight reps today. Um, the lead up was 55, 65, 75, 12. And then we did an offload set of 55 pounds for 20 sets or 20 reps. So great, great movement, great pump. Really felt it in my back. I didn't feel it in my back as much as I did last week doing the dumbbell deadlifts, but I digress. It was a good lift. As you can see, I'm dripping from sweat. Narrow seated rows. We actually started with that just because the gym was so busy. I was unable to get my hands on the other equipment. So we started off with 130 pounds for 12 reps and led up in increments of 10 pounds up to two sets of 180, one for 12 reps and one for 15 reps, and then an off uh, deload set of 150 pounds for 16 reps. I really felt the pump. I tried to emphasize the squeeze on the back end once you're completely uh, stretched out just tried to like give it a little extra and you can tell my shoulders my traps are extra pumped today and that's because we finished off with shrugs which uh, was what I was supposed to be doing but I didn't I uh, overread the program or underread I underread the program and I missed that part uh, hand hand check they're looking okay not too bad today for arm training we did um, standing dumbbell curls and standing hammer curls both dumbbell sets or variations with the uh, hammer we superset those with the shrug just to knock it out early because your boy don't be naughty i'm taking my girlfriend and one of our good friends sam out for tacos tonight so we're gonna enjoy that i'm not gonna uh, i might i might eat i might not depends that's what's great about the off season is it's not a big deal so uh cardio didn't do cardio abs we did in the front end we did in the beginning of the workout Kai Green style, um, did the crunch to, to the knee for both sides, and then flutter kicks for 25 reps. We did two sets for each, for everything, and then we went on our backs and did the uh, Jeff Cavalier stretch for the, lower, for the rear delts, and then did some Supermans, stretch out the back some more. So that's going to do it for the workout, guys. I really do appreciate you guys stopping in and watching the video. If you guys need help, um programming your programs or updating them or you uh you need to know like how much weight you need to be jumping up each week let me know i usually go uh two weeks at the same weight and if i'm able to do that um on the second week if i'm able to do more reps of the same weight then i usually go up in weight the next week so that's kind of how i do it i'm not doing uh, percentages or anything like that i'm just going to be doing ov overall looking at total volume making sure i'm matching if not improving on my total volume over here you got the reps and weights reps and weights at the very end you calculate everything together so you take your uh reps times your weight 
for your first set and put it over on the side here, kind of like how I did here. And then you add them all up and that's gonna be your volume for that one exercise. So then my barbell incline press would be a specific volume. So uh, of course it might not be as scientific as the other guys on YouTube, but you know what? It's working for me and I'm happy with it. So I hope, hopefully it helps you guys out as much as it can. Uh, I do appreciate you guys stopping watching the video. If you haven't liked the video already, make sure you like it. Um, most of you guys aren't subscribed, people who are watching, so make sure you guys do subscribe. I do appreciate it. Uh, once we actually start getting this stuff monetized at 10,000 views and 1,000 uh, subscribers, we'll be doing a lot more giveaways. A lot more giveaways. I promise you. I promise you. That's the focus. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching affiliate links uh i'll put them back in the description if you guys want to use them i noticed you guys haven't so it's not a big deal but if you guys want to save some money and uh, support me in an easy way you need supplements anyways you know you need your vitamins your omegas uh, your proteins that's about it you don't really need pre-workouts so that's it guys thanks for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow all right